Hello and welcome to a Mitsubishi Electric Quick Tips video. Today I'm going to talk about how to play videos on a GT16 HMI touchscreen interface from Mitsubishi Electric. In order to export video in the correct format, you will need QuickTime Pro 7 on a PC or iMovie on a Mac. And here are the settings you will need for a 3GPP format. You can select a data rate of 100 kilobits per second or 200 kilobits per second or higher. The higher, the larger the file. And for an MP4 format, uh, you will want MPEG-4 Basic. This will not have any audio. Image size 320 by 240. Once you save the video file onto your CF card, you would in input this CF card into the multimedia adapter. The next step is very important. Make sure this switch right here is set to the down position. This is the on position, which will allow the adapter to read the files off the CF card. If I go to the Help menu and select the Functions screen design manual, you'll see in Chapter 36 the multimedia function described. If I go several pages down to 36.2, there's a section here, 36.22, playing video files. The important thing to note is that 3GPP files along with MP4 files can be played. However, it's important that if it's an MP4, it's saved in a simple profile format. Now here it mentions you will need QuickTime 7 Pro. Uh, you can also use iMovie if you have a Mac. So now that all of that has been set up correctly, we're going to jump back into the software and show how to configure the system. If we minimize these two here in the System tab, we can double click on the Multimedia section here. I'm going to select Extended Interface first and I'm going to enable this card. I'm going to say OK. Now the very next thing we're going to want to do is select Object and then place down a switch, a special function switch. With the special function switch here, we are going to double click on it and we are going to select it as, if we scroll down, as a multimedia switch. And we're going to say the display screen will be video playback. And we are going to name it according to the video file that we have defined. In my case, it's project. And we'll leave it as 3GP, which is the format I'll use and then we can put some text here on the button we'll say project video I'll say OK so this will play the project video and here I have my project video button if I go ahead and select it and then say OK it will play the video what I can do here now is I can stop it and I can go to the menu button and I can select another video if I want uh, for example, this MP4 file, which does not have audio, if I go ahead and play that video, you can see uh, the same clip, but with no audio. So if you want audio, go ahead and save it as a 3GPP file using iMovie or uh, QuickTime Pro, and you should be all set. Thanks a lot for watching, and have a great day.